how are you all? It's Miss Penny again from Marengo Union Library. We are here to make another craft. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, guess what? You get to paint, yay! So, because we're painting, make sure that you have clothes on that are okay to get dirty or a smock, okay? And also make sure that you um, cover your table, cover your workspace, okay? Do those two things. Get yourself ready and let's paint. Yes, we are going to be painting with yellow and green because we are making a turtle. Cute, he's so cute. Okay, so in your kit, you are going to find the yellow and the green paint and you're gonna find two paper plates and you're gonna find some yellow tissue paper shapes and some yellow cardstock paper strips and some little oh, wiggly eyes, wiggly, 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 googly eyes. All right, what you're going to need from home is our staplers or a stapler, some tape, some glue, a marker doesn't have to be permanent it can be washable it might be better it's up to you it's up to your big person okay you're gonna need some scissors and a paintbrush or two for each color okay Whew. so much stuff let's do this all right so the first thing that you want to do is paint your plates do, 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 do. we want to paint one of them green and one of them yellow all right just paint the entire thing i got started one is green one is yellow all right in there so i have my green one and i have a little bit stuck there we go i have my yellow one so i started ahead of time i used these trays which is also a good idea if you don't have if you don't want to just use a table to cover your workspace okay so after those are dry, because it would be a lot easier if you let them dry, then we want to take our green one and we want to glue these shapes onto the back of it. This is going to be your turtle shell. So go ahead and take these shapes with your glue and go ahead and glue them onto your green plate that you painted, okay? All right, I'm going to put glue onto my plate because these are super thin and it'll be hard to have them have the glue sticking on to these, okay? You can glue these on however you want. There's a way that they're glued on in the picture, but yours doesn't have to look the same. Everybody's turtle shell can look different. All right, so you can glue on a lot. You can glue on a little. It's up to you. Do, do, do. Just glue them on there, okay? And then when you're finished with that, we can move on to putting our turtle together. There we go. Okay, so I am done with my gluing for this part. Done. I made mine look like that. See? It's like the top of a turtle shell. It's so cool. Ah, all right. See, I even have some left over. And then it's okay. All right, so we have done that. Now we would like some legs on our turtle. So I'm going to take my green shell and I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to take these smaller pieces, okay? And I'm gonna glue them on my turtle shell. These are gonna be the legs. So I wanna, I mean, they're gonna glue or tape. Whatever one you want. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and tape. So I'm gonna take one and one. So you want two legs in front and two legs in back. Because your turtle should have four legs. Two plus two is four. One, two, three, four. So go ahead and put your legs on there and you want them to stick out a bit. That's okay if they stick out a bit. That is actually what you kind of want. All right. 
we're gonna get our, our legs sticking out of our turtle shell so that our turtles have legs. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but a lot of people think that turtles are super slow. I had a turtle one time and it was actually really fast. It was so fast. It was so fast and it was my son's turtle and he was, he was younger when he had it, but it was my son's turtle. It was a fast turtle and he named him Fasty. It was actually really cute, but it's true. Even on land, like he walked, he, he, that turtle went pretty fast. I mean, it wasn't like, I didn't have to run necessarily to chase him, but it wasn't as slow as you, you would think. Okay, anyway, now our turtle shell has legs. We would like to give our turtle a head and a tail. So let's go ahead and do that with the longer strip of yellow that you have, okay? This is gonna be the head and the tail. You also have this little piece, and this is actually the head. So we're gonna take this piece and we're just gonna glue or tape it right on to the top like so. All right, so you go ahead and do that, glue or tape, whichever one you're using. If your big person is helping you, then that's great. All right, glue or tape it on there. Now this piece, we are just putting inside. We're not gluing it or taping it, okay? We're just setting it in there. Just setting it in there. Just like that, no gluing, no taping, okay? But actually, why don't we go ahead and put on the turtle's face? So I am gonna use glue for this. I'm gonna put the turtle's eyes on there. Eye, eye. So I put two dots of glues, glue, I don't know why I said glues, for the eyes. So, so far, this is what it's looking like. It's got two eyes. This is where your marker comes. Just take your marker and draw them a little mouth, however you want, okay? Little smiley face, however you want, okay? That's it, turtle's face, all done. So cute. Then go ahead, just lay it right in there, just like that. <sighs> easy peasy so far, right? We've done painting. We've done maybe gluing if you're using glue. We've done taping if you're using tape. Our turtle has to be finished. You know what I forgot to do? You know what I forgot to do? Let's get this done. Let's take this back out because what I forgot to do was take our plates, put them together, and cut out a little section here for his neck. That's like the neck. Okay, we're gonna cut them out together so that they're even, so that they're the same. Now, if your big person wants to go ahead and draw a little line for you to cut, that would be great. Or if you need your big person to cut it, that would be totally fine too. Look at that, just a little spot like that. Yes, now, I, I don't know what I was thinking for getting that part, this poor turtle. This will be so much easier now that he's got that part. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that's so much better. Look, does, oh, does that's so much better, isn't it? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to take our yellow plate now, and we're going to put it on upside down. So it's going to be like this. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I will pick that up in a second. You're going to put it on like this so that we have the green side facing up and the yellow because this is the turtle's bottom, okay? When you put this together with either tape or staples or glue, whoever's helping you, I want you to make sure, let me pick that back up really quick. I want you to make sure that his head and tail do not um, get glued or stapled in, okay? Because when this is done, you get to move it around. It's called a bobblehead turtle. And if you tape it or glue it, it won't be able to bobble, okay? So go ahead and go ahead and do what you're doing. I don't know if you're using staples. I don't know what you're using, but whatever you're using, you go ahead and close up your turtle shell now, okay? But remember, leave that head so that he so that it can wobble. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Doing good. 
I bet you guys have an amazing turtle. It's going to be so fun to bobble around. There we go. Okay. So it should look like this so far. And now it doesn't come out anymore because I've, um, I've closed it up a bit. All right. Now we want to take and make, take and make. Now we want to make his tail look a little bit more like a tail. So with your big person's help, you're going to make a triangle shape on the bottom of his tail. You might need them to draw some lines for you to cut out, okay? And then you're just going to cut those out. So cut and cut. And there you go. It's a triangle shape. See? Now it looks more like a tail. Yay! We also want to bend the legs so that he can stand. So with your big person's help, or you can try it, we're going to go ahead and bend each leg up. One, next one, two, and three, and four. Okay, now you can either leave your turtle's legs the way they are, like that, so he can stand, or if you want, you can kind of angle them a little bit and make them a little bit shorter even. Because if you look at a turtle really close, you'll see that their flippers are a little bit angled. So there we go. I made mine just a little bit shorter. Now he can not only stand, look at that, but you can wobble his head and move it around. How neat. And look at when he gets scared, he pulls his head in. Because that's what turtles do, right? When they get scared, or if they're trying to hide, they pull their head into their shell. Oh my goodness, you guys have a lot of fun doing this. Help your big person clean up, okay? And if your hands are dirty, go ahead and wash them. Wipe up the table, um, throw away the scraps, put away all the stuff that you used, and have fun playing with your turtle. Show everybody the cool bobblehead turtle that you made. Have fun. See you guys later. Bye!